Hey, Soul Sisters. Welcome to my Rambling Style Files. Today, I wanna to share with you a little trick that helped me get through the last couple of weeks. Okay, let me back up. I'm injured. I don't like being injured. It messes with my brain. It, I get frustrated. I get annoyed. I just, I just don't like it. So anyways, I got injured. Uh, oh, it's only two weeks. It feels like years ago. But anyways, it's been two weeks. I uh, hurt my leg when I was playing pickleball. I don't think it's a real pickleball injury. It was more that I was coming off COVID. I was dehydrated. I hadn't done any exercise. My body was tight. I just started playing and within two minutes, my legs seized on me. Anyways, I ran to the chiropractor, didn't run actually, I hobbled. Um, and it turns out I have strained my, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the pronunciation right, my popliteus muscle, which is runs kind of behind a little bit higher up from your kneecap. And I get pain now running here and here, bending my knee, walking, everything rambling. It all hurts and forget about pickleball. So how did I deal with it? Especially since I was going away five days later and I was very tempted to cancel my trip. Um, but in the end, I decided not to. And I'm gonna tell you what saved me. Okay, here is my little trick. The massage roller. Oh my gosh, this is the best. So look at that, it feels so good. I did this the entire plane ride. I can go under over on the side and the other thing is it's not only for a um, leg injury you can do it look at this because you can't reach like if your shoulder blade is bothering you you can do that you can do behind your neck it is like self massage it is wonderful then the other trick I have are my balls okay so check this one out this see it you can see all the little spikes on it oh I put it I sat and I put it underneath my leg or on your glute Oh my goodness, it's like heaven. It's painful heaven, actually, painful heaven. Um, but there are all sorts of balls. I have a whole bag of balls. Never try Now, I always travel with them. So I've got this one. Then I have a smaller one with spikes. It's pretty cool. It really focuses. Like if you do that, you can actually, actually roll it on the floor, on your foot. You can also, if your shoulder's bothering you, you can put the ball against the wall and then move up and down and then find the spot, the sweet spot. And then I have a couple of rubber balls I like. But you know what? If you're not ready to invest in any of this, and it's not a huge cost, but I understand if you're not ready, a tennis ball. I used a tennis ball for years. Oh, it feels so good. And the other thing is you can also use a golf ball. I mean, this is a, you know, this little ball, but it's about the size of a golf ball. So these save me. And I actually have a ball in the car. I did this waiting for the plane. I bring it on a walk if I need to stretch. I think the key is at our age is, I mean, everyone talks stretching, stretching, stretching. I'm so bad at it, but now I've learned my lesson. I will stretch, I promise. I think I will, I hope I will, I should. Um, anyways, <laughs> then I kind of forget, you get better and you forget, but no, I'm gonna stretch. That is my, my new mantra, stretch, stretch, stretch. Anyways, I'm not a doctor, so please just take this as just a soul sister who's injured trying to make herself feel better, but really check with a medical professional before you do any of this. Anyways, happy rambling.